Hey, this is Anthony's Revs on TV. You can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Guide Hero heated glove available at Revzil.com. This is Guide, but we know that G, that's powered by Gerbing. So Guide Supply Company is now the parent using the Gerbing heated technology. And if we look at this Hero Glove, you're looking around the $200 mark. This is new going into 2016. And this is a fully heated short cuff glove with a waterproof, or really I'm gonna call it a water resistant Aquatech liner. So again, water resistant, not fully waterproof, but designed for three season cold weather riding. So black only, full grain cowhide, and the claim to fame here is that you're zero to heat in under three seconds. So using that microwire technology, which is tiny bundles of stainless steel, you're able to heat the back of the hand all the way up the fingers and down the palm in under three seconds. And remember, you're gonna get this box with every pair of guide gloves, and what that comes with is a Y hardness and a battery connector cable, as well as a couple fuses. So again, typically people doing gloves are gonna connect them to a larger system with guide, and you should still buy a controller, but again, this is a heated glove through and through, the baby brother to the Vanguard, which gives you that long cuff coverage, but it's going to be a big upgrade over the Guide G4 glove, which is a soft knuckle any more basic and traditional motorcycle glove. Now, if we think about the fitment, I'm wearing a size large. I typically wear a size large in American gloves. There's 150 grams of insulation here. So even with the heat off, it's still gonna be a pretty warm glove, but you do have those heating components in the glove. I'm gonna say that it's right in the cusp of fitting a little bit small for me. So I'm wearing a large, I wear a large in first gear, I wear a large in Icon, I wear a large in, in Revit. But here, if I was a little bit bigger, if my fingers were a little bit closer to the edge of that size chart, I might go up to the next size. I might go to that extra large just to get the extra range of movement. For me, I'm right on the cusp, but I'm okay and it is a short cuff glove. Now we are looking at a leather glove too. It's gonna break in slightly, so that works well for it. Keep in mind, use the size chart. If you're in between sizes, go up to the next one. We're gonna ship for free over 39 bucks. And as always, I'd love it if you click our logo, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV, leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback on the new Guide Hero. Now, if we look at it, base breakdown, aniline dyed cowhide. It's going to be a leather construction. Remember, you have that light insulation inside. You have that Aquatex waterproof or water resistant membrane. Again, it depends on the construction. Sometimes we see Aquatex be fully waterproof, but the way that they've constructed it, they're not standing behind the full waterproofness of it. They're giving you a water resistant rating. So if you're out in it all day in the rain, most likely you're going to get a little bit of wet into the glove. Now, back of the hand starts with Velcro. To be able to cinch, typically going to wear this underneath your jacket cuff. Moving up, Hard shell knuckle, moving to the fingers. I would have loved to have seen them give me one row of elasticity, mid-digitally, allow for range of motion. Motion, you do have it across the knuckles on the top. Moving to the, moving to the thumb here, again, inclement weather glove. Give me a visor wiper guide, I need that. I like that if I'm getting caught in a rainstorm. And then moving into the palm. It is a gel palm construction. Remember, you're beefing this glove up a bit over top of the G4, so you do have some shock absorbing here. Would have loved to have seen a rubberized panel for your high grip area as well. But Maybe if they're listening, they'll iterate and they'll get it a little closer in the next version. Remember, you do have your connector here and it does come with everything you need to connect it directly to your battery and get that heat, but you're not gonna be able to regulate the heat without buying a temperature controller. So whether you're a single dual temperature controller, whether you're buying a wireless temperature controller or a Bluetooth temperature controller, you really should make that investment if you're investing on the premium side of the heated gear. And the beauty of Guide, again, is using microwire, which doesn't break or wear out over time like single copper wire strands and some of our competitors do. Now, that's again part of the big upgrade in price. So remember, you want to spend a little less, a little bit less technical, go with the G4. You want to step up the full gauntlet, go with the Vanguard. But the next step in your journey is to click the info button on your desktop or mobile device, visit the product detail page, and read other rider reviews on the Guide Hero Glove powered by Gerbings. Again, it's going to be a rock solid option in that heated gear category. As always, we're going to share for free over 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at Revzilla.com or 877 792 Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV on our YouTube channel. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.